let's take a look at how we can find the pH of a strong acid slash strong base. And then we can see how we can find the pH of a um, weak acid slash weak base. And then we'll look at pH of a buffer type 1. A buffer type 1 consists of a weak acid plus weak base, okay? And then we'll look at how to find the pH of a buffer type 2, which is a weak acid slash base plus a strong acid slash base. Okay, so let's look at how we can find the pH of a strong acid first. Okay, so pH of a strong acid. Let's choose any strong acid, right? Let's do HNO3. Pretend this is in solution. In solution. If it is, it will break up completely because it's a strong acid. It will break up into H plus and NO3 minus. Let's then say this was given for the concentration of this is mm, 0.04. Let's just say that, 0.04 M. Okay, ignore that. That's not supposed to be there. Okay, 0.04 M. So that will mean this is 0.04. This means that this is 0.04 M M. Okay, so all we have to do now is we plug into the equation pH equals negative log of H plus. Okay, this means that pH equals negative log of 0.04. Let's see what that is. Negative log of 0.04 pH is 1.39 and that's how you find the pH of a strong acid. It's pretty simple. Literally the easiest one. Okay, now let's look and see how we can find the pH of a strong base. Okay, so to find the pH of a strong base, let's say for example the strong base is in, oh my gosh, I cannot write, NaOH, right? Pretend this is in solution, it will break up completely into Na plus and OH minus. Okay, so we can see here that OH minus is here. That's what we need to focus on. Let's say the concentration of this is, let's make up a number, um, 0 0.10 M, okay? So this will make this 0 0.10 M, make this 0 0.10 M. We note this because the coefficients are all the same. That's why they're all the same M concentration, because the coefficients are the same. So let's just plug this into the equation too. So POH equals um, negative log of OH minus. So let's fill in what we know. POH equals negative log of point one. Okay, let's see what that is. Negative log of point one, one. So POH equals one. All right, so once we find that, we can use the equation POH plus pH equals 14 to find that the pH, see if we just plug 1 here plus x equals 14, pH is equal to 13. Okay, now let's see how we can find the pH of a weak acid. Okay, this is kind of where things become a little bit more complicated. So pH of a weak acid. Okay, so weak acid, it doesn't break up completely. So let's say any weak acid, let's say CH, COOH plus H2O. Okay, this time I'm actually writing it in solution. In solution. So I put the H2O there. This will equal H3O and plus a CH3COO minus. Okay, this will be H plus. So let's see here. Let's say the original concentration of this is 0.20 M. So what do we have here? Let's do, let's do the rise table. So we have 0.2, this we don't, we ignore the water because it's a liquid. We only look at aqueous solutions. And this will be zero and this will be zero. So we plus x minus, nope, that's wrong. Minus x plus x plus x, right? So what is the final? The final thing is gonna be 0.2 minus x. That's gonna be x, that's gonna be x. Now. Now let's write the Ka. We write the Ka because it's an acid. Ka is equal to, for this one, it will be equal to the H3O 
um, this will be HO3+, plus, but this is the same thing as H+, plus. they're the same thing, H3O+, plus, and times the concentration of CH3COO-, minus. remember, products over reactants, products, these two are the products right here, and the reactant is C, H, 3, C, O, O, H, right? Now, we just plug in what we know. Okay, let's also say the Ka was given, sorry. Ka is, say, 1.9 times 10 to the... Right, let's just say something like that, okay? So let's, let's plug in what we know. Ka, 1.9 times 10 to the third power equals this right here. This, what we said, is X. Remember? Um, products over reactants. Products, products, X, X over... 2 minus x right so well, we, we, we can notice here this is really small therefore we can just ignore this x right so it'll just look like this so now what we have to do is we can just do this number multiplied by that number right you multiply it over so 1.9 times 10 to the third and then that will be multiplied by 0.2 so we have 3a0 equals x squared. Now we take the square root of that. And our x equals 19.5. Okay. So once we have x equals 19.5, let's look here. What is x also? x is h3o plus. What did we say this was? This is h plus. Now you see how we can find the... So this right here is the h plus, right? Or h or h... 3 o plus. Now you see how we can use the pH equals um, H plus formula. Negative log H plus solution. There will be, and then we can find the pH. So pH equals negative log of 19.5. Okay. So negative log of, that's one. So pH is equal to negative 1.29. Okay, these numbers are really wacko because I just made them up, but you get the gist basically. This is how you find it. And it's the same thing for the, it'll be the exact same thing for the um, weak base, but you're doing it for the OH. So we're not even gonna go with that because it's literally the exact same thing, right? Okay, so let's look at the pH of Okay, so this is where it gets kind of weird, but these are really easy. So now we're looking at buffer type 2, okay? Where we have, oh, wait, no. We're looking at a buffer type 1, where we have a weak acid and a weak base. Okay, so let's see. pH of buffer type 1. Okay, weak acid and weak base. All right, let's just say the weak acid, let's say the instructions are given that 0.5, the concentration of H and it's 0.5 and now let's say the concentration of um NACN is 0.1 okay now what we can see here is this is the weak acid this is a weak base so when we have a buffer type of problem we use the pH equals um pKa equals no not equals plus log of base over acid, right? Okay, so let's plug in what we know, okay? So, okay, let's also say the K was given, right? Ka equals 6.2 times 10 to the fifth, and this will most likely, most likely be given, okay? So we're trying to find the pH. pH equals, okay, so let's do pH equals pKa. Let's see how we can find pKa. pKa, this is the same thing as pKa equals negative log of Ka. Ka is given. So we do negative log of 6.2 times 10 to the fifth. That will give you a negative pKa. That will give you a negative 5.79 plus the log of base over acid. What's the base? Base is 0.1. The acid is 0.5. Okay, so let's do negative log. Let's see what this right here equals, right? So 
do log of point one divided by point. Let's get this right here. We'll give you negative zero point six nine nine. And we simply just add this to this. And like I said, I'm making up random numbers, so that's why the numbers are so wacko. But then we add a negative 5.7, which will give you the h of negative 6.489. And that's how you find a buffer type 1, how you find the pH of a buffer type 1. Now let's look at a buffer type 2. Buffer type 2 are pretty simple. So this is where we have a, for example, a, mm, let me think, a weak base and a strong acid, okay? Let's see here. So we have a 2, concentration 2, or NH3, right? We have NH3 with a concentration of 2. And then we have a HCl with a concentration of 1.5. Okay, so we can see here, NH3, weak, um, weak base. Cl, C, or HCl, HCl is a strong acid, right? So what we can do here is, okay, let's do, let's also say the Ka was given. Ka equals 1.8 times 10. Okay, so we use the. Um, so now we gotta think, okay? We have more acid, we have less acid than base. So that's good. Now we gotta look at what will form of this, okay? So let's, for example, let's say we have the weak base and then the strong acid. What is that gonna form? A weak acid. Okay, so we have how much of a weak base? Weak base, we have two. How much of a strong acid? We have 1.5. Okay, so the strong acid is going to go away completely. Minus 1.5. Minus 1.5. If we minus 1.5 here, we have to add 1.5 here. This begins with zero, obviously. So this will be 0.5 left, zero left. And then we will have... Um, plus 1.5. And then now, what we can do is simply plug this into the pKa equation, right? So pH equals, uh, let's see here, pKa. How do we find pKa? We said we take the negative log of Ka. pKa equals negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative, is that negative 5? Yeah, negative 5. All right, let's plug in our calculator. Letter, negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the 5. Yep, to the negative 5. Oops, I did that wrong. Okay, I'll give you 4.7. So the pKa is 0.745, okay? Now once we have the pH equals pKa, we have to plus the log of base over acid. Let's see, where, where's our base? Base is 0.5 over the acid, 1.5, right? Yeah, okay. So now we do the log of 0.5 divided by 1.5. This will give you a negative 2.477. And let's see what this, so, and then we just add this, 4.7. Plus four point seven four five, and I'll give you the pH. pH equals four point two six eight. Okay, so that's all of it done. Now let's look at one more really quick exception. Okay, this one is super useful to know. It's kind of hard, but not really. It's not really that hard. This is also a buffer type two, but let's say we have a weak base. And a strong acid. But if so, what does it form? It forms a weak acid, right? So let's say the weak base starts with four in the concentration is four. The strong acid, the concentration is seven. This is none so far. Okay, now we gotta think about this. The weak base and the 
strong acid. What can we do? We can can we can okay, so we can subtract the four here, right? And subtract the four here and add the four here. But what happens? This goes away. This will become three. But if this is three and the strong acid is the three, then you have to think about this as the H plus. This right here, three will be the H plus. And you solve this as if you only had the strong acid. It's the first thing we did. So what we do, what we would do is the pH equals negative log of three. And that will give you the pH. So we do negative log 